Okay, we got somebody on the live. Somebody is already on here. Y'all look at Solo. <laughs> Woo! Solo, get down. As soon as I say lights, camera, action, y'all, Solo just, Solo just, he just, he cuts up. So like, we got to wait for people to come in here on the live, boo-boo. Mm. We got to wait. Y'all, we got a good live. We got a good live today. We got a good one today, y'all. I'm excited. I'm excited, y'all. We got a good one today. I wish YouTube would let us, you know, put some music on or something. Because, <laughs> y'all, I still got my work clothes on. Your girl, she know how to dress up when she wants to, okay? I be looking rough on these lives. But I'm here today. I'm here to show up. I just got off of work. I didn't take off my clothes. I stayed with my thrifted outfit on today. Let me just show y'all my thrift fit up today. Yeah, I wish I could play some music. Maybe let me see if I can find some YouTube royalty free music, but I don't know. But anyway, y'all, I planned this live out because y'all, we is winding down. We are on video number three of my thrifted shoe collection. This is a lot. I <laughs> know. I can't believe it. My daughter was like, Mom, come over here and go live. I was like, girl, I cannot take and bring all those all these shoes over your house. Are you crazy? I said, you can come over here and cook dinner. She was like, yeah. So she she said she's going to log on. But I am so ready to show y'all. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who has been watching these lives. You guys are putting in the work. I am trying to reach 3,000 subscribers. Hey, Tisa. Hey, girl. I know you was going. I know you was going to be there and support your girl, but um, I'm trying to get to 3,000 subscribers by the 30th of this month. By the end of the month, y'all help me reach my goal. All right, y'all help me reach my goal because your girl is trying to get the numbers up so if you are in here i see five people on my live right now and i don't see any likes no likes so what are you guys doing y'all here for me or what y'all with me or y'all against me so y'all know i'm gonna start this live off with i'm gonna start the shoe collection off with leopard print because if y'all been watching my youtube you know that I am a sucker for leopard print anything. I love cheetah, leopard, snake skin, gator. I love animal print. And so, okay, y'all, I only see one like. Come on now, the likes are free. Give your girls some likes so we can keep the videos rolling. Come on now, I ain't asking for much. I'm showing y'all my shoe collection. I'm giving y'all my shoe collection, okay? All right, so we four minutes into this video, so let me just get started. We're going to start with the leopard print, y'all. So the first pair of shoes in part three of my thrifted shoe collection are these. And these are some oldie but goodies. I know everybody, at one time, these shoes was the GOAT. But for me, stuff don't go out of style, in my opinion. Stuff like this is timeless. When you buy the right pieces, like, they never go out of style. And these are Steve Madden. These are cheetah print. And they are, like, I guess you call these, are these called platform, y'all? But I got these from Unique Thrift Store, and they were, the price is still in them, $6.49. That is the first pair of shoes in my part three thrifted shoe collection. And let me just tell y'all, 
all the shoes that I'm showing in part three are closed toe shoes because we already covered all the sandals, whether it be high heel, low heel, we covered all the sandals that I have, which was part one and two. This is the third part, and these are considered closed toe shoes. And the final part is going to be my boots, thrifted boots. And then we'll be done. We'll be done with this series, this whole entire thrifted shoe collection series. But the first pair are these Steve Madden shoes, platform shoes. I love that they're like a wedge. And I just love the print on them, anything animal print. And again, I got these from Savers. And they were $6.49. Alright. The next pair, and of course I told y'all I'm going to start with my animal print collection. The next pair are a very similar pair. And what happened was I had got these ones first. And I remember vaguely, I got these from um, the Goodwill. And they are very similar to the ones I just showed you, but the print is smaller. Um, I paid $14 from Goodwill. Um, and they, they are, um, the print is much smaller. And they are made by BCBG Generation. Now, I do like these, but I feel like these look more expensive, in my opinion. I like both of them, but these I got first. And I wouldn't have paid $14 for them, but I actually went to the thrift stores looking for a pair of, pair of cheetah print boots, booties. And when I saw these, I acted out on impulse because I was afraid that I wouldn't find another pair. But then I went to Savers a couple weeks later and, and found these ones, and I was stoked. I was like, these are it. So I think I'm still going to keep these because even though they look the same, they are very, very different. They're similar but different. And so I do love them both. But $14 and $6, it makes no sense to me. I definitely would, if I had to choose, I would keep these ones. All right. The next pair of animal prints are these Zara, these Zara shoes, which I love. I recently thrifted these about two or three months ago, and they they feel like real animals, probably pony pony fur or pony hair. That I've got what they call them, but I do like the chicness of these. I like the way that they are like cut. They are a bit narrow. I haven't worn them out yet because I just haven't had enough outings to actually wear them. And I don't really wear cheetah that much to work because my work environment is super conservative. But these are from Zara and they were $6.49. They are a part of my animal print collection. All right, y'all. The next pair, I'm actually going to thrift gift these to my little cousin. I can fit them, but they are a little narrow and a little tight. And I done had so much foot surgery. I'm not about to be wearing no shoes that hurt my feet. Um, are these cute shoes? And they are made by uh, Hush Puppies. And I just love these. And I wish I, I may can stretch them because I love the... the, the um, the little twang of tassel, the two colors that they have on them, which adds so much flavor to these shoes. Um, but they are super cute, made by Hush Cup Puppies. I love the comfort of the soles, but they just are a little too narrow for my feet. Um, and so I think I'm going to gift them to my little cousin who loves thrift gifts. And these were $9.79, and they were practically brand new. If you can see them and they are y'all know i'm a sucker for anything animal print and yes these are so so cute and i've been getting a lot of messages today about people saying they don't have nice shoes in their neighborhood thrift stores and their cities it's so unfortunate because i go to savers all the time and i go into the size 10s and 11s to see what they have and I always see nice shoes in bigger sizes, always. Um, so that's so unfortunate. I wish you guys could get out or plan like a, a trip where you can go like outside your city to find a Savers thrift store. 
Like today I went to lunch and at two o'clock and I was just riding not far from my job. And I noticed that they're going to open up a new Goodwill um, right near my job. And it's a huge Goodwill. So I'm so excited. I don't know. Maybe somebody at corporate told them that I live near and they said, oh yeah, we're going to put it there for her. Anyway, the next pair of shoes are these um, Mark Fisher. I didn't even know these were Mark Fisher, but I do wear these a lot. Another animal print shoe um and i do wear these and y'all i like when my shoes get a little rusty i like when they get a little burnt like animal print get a little get a little fire to them um i thrifted these a while back i don't have the price on them but yeah these are like a everyday i wear these with a lot of different outfits i would even wear these with what i have on today just to kick around but y'all already know how i feel about anything animal print i'm here for it and these are Mark Fishers that I thrifted. Love them. That's crazy, y'all, that I'm still on the animal print. I ain't even got to the nitty gritty yet. So y'all know, one of my favorite girls is Jessica Simpson. And I was so happy when I thrifted these um, clear Jessica Simpson flats. And I have worn these down to the ground, honey. Um, but... I love these, y'all. I love these Jessica Simpson flats. You can see I have worn these down to the ground because they are just so comfortable and I get so much wear out of these. I know I didn't pay much of anything for these, probably three or four dollars, but yes, baby. Yes, Tisa. Broken in and worn <laughs> maximized comfort. You got that right. <laughs> Yeah, so these are by Jessica Simpson, and we are still on my animal print. Y'all thought I was lying when y'all said when I said I love, 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 love animal print. The next pair are these beautiful. I don't even know what animal this is. If you know, comment below. Y'all, I got two likes and six people on this on this live. Two likes. What is it that y'all don't like about this video so far? That y'all that y'all not hitting a like. Come on now. Come on now. Um, I got these J. Crew pumps. I don't know is what is what 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 animal is this, y'all? But anyway, I love these. They were nine dollars and seventy nine cent. Um, and look at them. Giraffe? Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, Tisa, girl. I need to make you a moderator. When I start getting up there, you're going to be administration moderator. Get these likes up or block them. Block them. If they don't want to hit like, then they not my people. So these um, giraffe print, according to Tisa. Damn, I ain't know I had some giraffe print in my collection. Period. Period, sis. Giraffe. You know, I didn't elevate it if I got giraffe print. <laughs> Yes, y'all know it's the golden hour, right? I always I always do this during the golden hour. <laughs> but anyway, these were, like I said, $9.79 from the thrift store made by J. Crew. All right. <laughs> this is crazy that I got this many shoes. The next pair, and I think the other one is at the bottom of the barrel, <laughs> um, are these... These are made by Viz Spiegel. Y'all remember Viz Spiegel? Viz Spiegel is an oldie for goodie too. Back in the day, all the fly girls wore Viz Spiegel. And um, these also are cheetah print. And they are also real pony hair. I love them. And I got these for $5.49 from Savers. Look at them. Look at that heel. Barely worn. I love these. Leather sole. Yes. Look at those. The next and final leopard print shoe, animal print shoe, are these. And I know you guys remember, I just got these recently, maybe two or three months ago, if that. Are these Franco Sartos um, flats? Look at those. How adorable. And they're also real pony hair. I love these. Look at the back, y'all. Look at this detail in the back. Look at that heel. How fly are these? 
and I paid $5.49 for these. Beautiful. So if I'm out and listen, my feet start hurting in the heels, baby, I'm gonna pull these out of my pocketbook because I'm gonna stay on, I'm gonna stay on 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 the uh grid with my leopard print. I love these. Like y'all, hit the like. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get these out the way because they're the only pair of sneakers. Cause if you know, you know. I'm I have a little bit of a phobia phobia for thrifted sneakers. As much as I buy thrifted shoes. The fact that I got four hauls of thrifted shoes, and this is the only pair of sneakers that I got. Um, and these are by Ken of Cole. And I got these because they were, of course, the color. And I just had to have them. They are very heavy. They, they, you know, I think this happened when I washed them, but it don't, it don't really bother me. I wear them, you know, just to kick around. And I can't remember how much I paid for them because I obviously took the price out when I cleaned them. But these were also thrifted. All right, y'all. It's time to get to the good stuff. We out of. We finished with all the um, animal print. The next pair. Look at these, y'all. <laughs> how adorable are these these are definitely showstoppers these are made by asos and i had to get these because i like anything that is unique and different um these are look at the little eyes on them how freaking cute are these y'all i have not worn these out yet i may wear them to work tomorrow just because they're so freaking cute and I can't wait to hear what people have to say about them. But they're definitely com definitely conversation shoes. Um, again, they're made by ASOS. I paid $6.49 for these. And whoever had them didn't wear much. But everything is still in beautiful condition. And I absolutely love these. Got 10 people on the live, y'all. Get the like button, please. All right, the next pair are these, and these are, I believe, are vintage. I've seen this brand before. They are these Vanelli, I think that's how you pronounce it, Vanelli um, shoes, and I wear these to work. They're suede, and look at these cute little metal little dots, spikes, or whatever you want to call them in the shoe. But these are so beautiful. Um, and I thrifted these. I don't know how much I paid for them because the price is not on them anymore. But, oh no, I thought I saw the price. But I just love these. These are so, so beautiful. And they are vintage brand Benelli. I've seen a lot of shoes in the thrift store. So, and they may not be vintage. I don't know. Maybe I just think they're vintage. But I'm going to look these up when this live is over. Yes. All right. The next pair are very similar to those. But these are actually made by Stuart Wiseman. Um, and they are these. Um, I don't know what this material is. But as you can see, these are so nice. And what I love about these are the deets oh, I'm so, oh crap it looks worse on camera but this heel has um i love this metal around the brush nickel around the heel and guys that's just dust for some reason it's coming up really awful looking on the camera but it doesn't look that bad in person and they are made by Stuart wiseman and if they are these shoes with this like material all right the next pair of shoes are these and i was so excited to get these i picked these up a few weeks ago maybe a month ago are these um beautiful czar woman shoes look at these they're like a denim a dark denim and they have these beautiful pineapples in the front 
Um, and I know I got these from Savers. I can't believe, because I usually don't like to take the prices off of stuff simply because I know I'm using it for content. But I know they had to be about, they were kind of expensive. They might have been about $14, but I think well worth it. I love anything with pineapples, and these were so freaking cute. And I wear these to work. Like I said, most of these are my work shoes. Um, and so, yeah, look at those. How freaking adorable. Yeah. Me too, Fab. I love it. All right. The next pair of shoes. This is crazy. I hope y'all packed the lunch. <laughs> are these... Um, and these are made by Lord and Taylor. It's called 24 fifth, a 24 fifth. That might be the name of them, but are these cute, beautiful bow tie. Look at this satin, these like satin shoes and look at this. How adorable are these heels on these shoes? How stinking adorable. And I paid $8.29 for these. Adorable. I could have worn these today with my outfit I have on today. Because the satin would have looked really cute with this skirt. All right. Ten people, five likes. All right. Y'all really do love me. <laughs> the next pair of shoes. And I don't know why I just love these. Um, these are called Louise Itchy at sea, and I just love these little, like, military, um, shoes, but they're not, um, look at them. They are so adorable, and I would wear these with a cute dress or skirt, and they're very expensive. You could tell, I can tell by the soles on the shoes. I got these from Goodwill for $9.99. And they are so cute. And they're feminine, but they're also, they have a little masculinity to them. And I love that they have this little gold, these little gold buttons in the back that make, that separates them from like uniform shoes and make them actually very stylish. All right. The next pair is another pair, Stuart Wiseman. And I, I didn't realize I have so many Stuart Wiseman shoes, but I do love these. Um, and they are like these wedge, pointy wedge shoes with the sling back. And they're so cute. Look at them. And I got these from Goodwill for $10. And you can see here, they are from Goodwill. And they're Stuart Wiseman. And look at that. They're so cute and chic and sleek. I love these. All right. All right, y'all. Next, I have these. Another pair of work shoes. And these are when I'm just, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. And I really, I'm at work feeling like I want to put my foot up somebody's ass. I would wear these. These cute little, like, almost like a, um, what they call yacht loafers. And I like them because they're super, super comfortable. They are made by Neiman Marcus. And I know I didn't pay much for these. Um, yeah, the price is not on them, but I did thrift them. Like I said, I thrift 90% of my clothing. And I'm seeing 90% of my shoes, too. And you wouldn't believe I still have a ton of designer shoes like shoes that i didn't thrift it's crazy but i still i still love my thrift i love my thrift stuff yes yeah, very practical and stylish and these are timeless this is timeless this is what you call what they call it quiet luxury that's what this is this is quiet luxury all right i have another quiet piece of luxury very quiet and they're these Lord and Taylor shoes that I have worn to the ground because y'all, I wore these to the ground. 
this is rich girl aesthetic right here. And those that know, know. I thrifted these about a year ago. And look at this. This leather. This is what I'm talking about. When they talk about this quiet luxury, baby, this, it don't get no quiet than this. This green, pebble grain, soft leather, timeless. Look at that netting, that batting. And then, and as you can see, this is probably the old Lord and Teller before Macy's brought them. <laughs> but I love these and I wear these with all kinds of stuff. You will be surprised how I style these. And I probably need to do a, um, a styling haul, just like a casual style haul. Because I always use, wear dresses because I love dresses. But I need to show you guys when I'm wearing like, well, I never dress down, to be honest. I'm most comfortable in skirts and dresses, believe it or not. Um, and even at work on Fridays, they're like, you can wear jeans. I don't wear jeans. Jeans are restricting. They hard. They crunchy. They, mm-mm. So, yeah, these I thrifted about a year ago. All right. Y'all, we are moving. Oh, let's stick to, we're going to stick to the soft, the, 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 uh, the quiet luxury thing since we on it. Um, these... I thrifted about five years ago, and they are Ferragamo. And y'all wouldn't believe. I think I paid $10 for these. Whoever priced them had no idea. I guess they was hoping they was from H&M. They would have been like $25. But this is the kind of thrifting that I enjoy. This is when I, when I go to the thrift store and I find like old gems like this, this is what makes me happy. Because years ago, you would go to the thrift store and they didn't have Google and stuff. And when you found stuff, you just lucked up. That was when my grandmother used to take me thrifting. You literally used to find stuff. And it was like a, a true treasure hunt. Now, everything is like oversaturated. People are Googling in the back. They know names. And it, it, it's, it's not as fun as it used to be. But, yeah. So, these are Ferragamos. And I wear these a lot. Quiet luxury. Still in very good condition. And yes. All right. All right. Back to the uh, one more quiet. Let's do one more quiet, quiet, silent luxury. So y'all remember on yesterday's video, um, we talked about Ivanka Trump. And I couldn't figure out if she was the daughter, the, the ex-wife, the wife, the cousin. But I know one thing. I love me some Ivanka Trump. Clothes and shoes. And I will tell y'all something, but I can't because shit, I, my page might get taken down. But anyway, I got these, um, I thrifted these recently. And you guys know these look just like the Chanel slingbacks. And they are by Ivanka Trump. I got these from the Goodwill and I'm pretty sure they were $9.99. But I just love the style of these slingbacks. I mean, these are very popular style of shoe i actually have a flat pair but i didn't thrift them by a lady named um katie penn and what she does is she makes very good quality shoes she does not well she don't design them because most of her shoes are a replica of high high end designer shoes so she make i have a pair of these a flat pair let me see and y'all i paid like i may have paid two hundred dollars for them and Solo chewed a piece of them. I could have killed them, but I didn't. Um, and she makes a lot of designer brands. And I'll link her website below for people. But these I did thrift. And they are a part of the Quiet Luxury Ivanka Trump collection. All right. The next pair that I thrifted, and I know a lot of people love Toy Birch, were these Toy Birch uh flats and i paid even though i thrifted them i still paid uh, uh solo i paid about 70 dollars for them because i've had these now for about four years and back then you know they i mean they were brand new i actually thrifted about four pair from this particular thrift store and they had like four pair toy birch and at that time toy birch was popular but not as popular as they are now because i've recently found a whole lot of um toy birch shoes in the thrift store i think i got about four pair but these were about 70 dollars and i do love them and they are unique because of the blue suede and yeah 
The next pair I thrifted were another pair of Toy Birch slide, uh, flats. And, yeah, they just, I mean, they are what they are. I'm not a big, huge fan of Toy Birch. Most likely, um, I just wear these when I'm kicking around or if I'm going to something like a, I'm not going to say a funeral, but just kick around shoes. And these were also thrifted. And then again, I thrifted another pair and I might give, I might do a giveaway for these. They are a size nine. I might give these away to one of my loyal subscribers as well. Um, these toy birch flats, because like I said, I don't wear a whole lot of, and these must've been like $8 cause they, they write, they wrote eight on the bottle. So I must've paid like $8 for these, but I'm pretty sure they are authentic cause they are real leather, but yeah, I might do a giveaway, um, for these. Yes. Okay, the next pair are these Nine West pumps. And they are cute, like Kitten Hill pump. And they are pretty gray. And I just love this. I love the color and I really love the heel because it elongates the foot. And yeah. And they are by Nine West. I don't know what that is they got on there. A lot of these shoes are in the basket with each other, and sometimes they rub, rub off on each other. But um, these are by Nine West. All right. Another pair of similar pumps are these J. Crew blue pumps. How cute are those that I thrifted a while back? And I do love the heel height of these, too. I just don't like a super high heel. Let me tell y'all, there's a rule to fashion. You never wear high heel shoes in the daytime. Did y'all know that? That is not cool. Like, you don't wear super high heels in the daytime. That's that's a fashion. That's a mistake. You don't do. Yeah, and these are J. Crew, Very, very beautiful suede. And um, these are actually, you're right, Fab Chick. These are actually made in Italy. And they were $14.99. Beautiful. All right. The next pair, and you guys may have seen these. And Fab, I know you're going to love these. Are these Nine West uh, pumps? Look at them. How beautiful are these? Come on now. Come on now, girl. Look at that. B.A. Michael Jackson. Bad. This is what thrifting is all about right here. And that price. $6.49. B.A.D. Bad. Oh, Fab, I know you was going to love this. I knew you was going to love these. Look at that color. Girl... Girl, who gonna check me? <laughs> who gonna check me? Not H&M? Not Zara? Uh, no, you're not. <laughs> yeah. All right. The next pair are these Lord & Teller. Another pair of that. Four, oh, 424 fifth. And they're these gold loafers. These gold loafers, and they are by Lord and Teller. I don't, I don't even see the price on here, but just know that they were thrifted. I did not pay for um, them the regular price. They are so nice, um, and you can see the inside. Super, super. Oh no, baby, I don't play no games, no games. Those are those. Oh, the next pair are another pair of flats, and they are these Nine West, like Oxblood Burgundy flats made by Nine West. I don't know where my price is. I try not to take the prices off of them um, that I thrifted, 
and I just like them because I didn't have any other shoes this color and they're super cute for just a regular day at work and you just want to be comfortable I don't wear super flat shoes that often but I mean sometimes you just got to come down you got to come down up off the high baby <laughs> but yeah these are cute all right the next pair and I'm definitely not going to keep these. I, I don't know why I got them. They reminded me of the Valentino Rock Studs. But I think they come from She and N. Yeah, these going these going in the trash. No, I'm not going to say in the trash because it's somebody out here. But I think I'm going to re-thrift these. Simply because when I went to go put them on one day, I noticed they had this cheap. This What's this? I was like, what the hell? This is cheap. Absolutely not. But these were from Shein, and I'm only showing you because I did thrift them, and they are a part of my thrifted shoe. I mean, they are cute. I just, I can't get with that. I can't get with that little fake, that fake closure. I ain't, I, I got too many shoes to be out here wearing. Like, who, 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 I wish I would. I wish I would. They put all this work into these shoes. To put a hook like this on the side. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Yeah, so those will be <laughs> out the window. All right, the next pair are these Ken of Cole T Strap shoes. Look at those. Real genuine leather. These are vintage Ken of Cole. Because I mean, do Ken of Cole even still make shoes? But I just love these. I love the pointy, the pointy toe. I love the T-strap. I love everything. Yeah, I don't mess with no she and I've never ordered anything from she and in. This says she and in. So I guess this must be a vintage she and in. But she and in can kiss my. All right, so these are, like I said, Ken of Cole and T-Strap, and these are timeless. I feel like these are a timeless staple to have, and they have a real buckle on the side. Playing with me. Why well, I'll be out there look like 51 years old wearing she and in. Buckle. No, ma'am. But you know what people say? I had a client that come, and she said she and in, or she, she, she said she really gets some good stuff on that website for her whole family, her kids, you know. For me, I, I'd rather go to the thrift store. I like quality. But these were $9.79. Ken of Cole, beautiful shoes. And I believe these were also made in Italy. Yeah, these are nice. I like quality, baby. The next pair... Are another pair of the Franco Sarto shoes, and they're these suede loafers with this cute little suede flappy bow in the front, and they are so cute, so so cute, and I just love these regular kick arounds made by Franco Sarto, and. I'm thinking they were from Goodwill because Goodwill, the only one I know to write on the bottom of their shoes. But I thought these were super, super cute. Can I get some likes, y'all? Damn, I just came home from work. I ain't even put on my pajamas. Can't even get a like. Oh, yeah, so I'm a, hair, I'm, I'm a hairstylist. I don't know if you've seen some of my other YouTube videos. Mika's House of Beauty, Five Star on Yelp. I got... I think a thousand five star reviews. But anyway, I did hair for like nine years, hair extensions. But anyway, um, and so I still have a few clients that I still do, not as many as I used to. I, I used to have like 200 and something. Now I have a good maybe 20 that I, that I still will take. But yeah. All right. The next. Y'all remember Charles and David? This is definitely this is definitely a this is definitely a oldie but goodie. Another flat, pointy. And what I love about these is they this strap goes almost like ballerina slap. This this goes inside and then this comes around your ankle. 
so cute made by charles and david and i know i thrifted them but of course the size i mean the price isn't on on there and i know you guys because i want you guys to know that i wouldn't come on here and like lie and say i thrifted stuff that i didn't thrift because i've had that problem in the past people saying i'm lying and i'm like who the fuck would lie about thrifting um but anyway and I and I like to I like to show you guys. Thank you, Fab. I like to show you guys pricing so that you can have an idea of thrifting versus the regular stores where you get better quality. I mean, it's used, but so what? Once you wear something one time, it's used. Remember that. So, you know, you want to be the one to break everything. You know, to to walk on the sidewalk with your shoes, the first one that makes you feel good when you can get the same shoes for a fraction of the cost that are gently used um then by all means go for sis but these are charles and david and this is vintage because i was growing up in high school charles and david you had to have some coin you had to have some coin to wear charles and david the next shoe are these fashion nova shoes that i thrifted and i'm not i'm not proud of it but like I said, you got to slow the fast fashion down by thrifting. But these um, clear, and the only reason I got them because I've not seen any clear flats. And I just thought they were so cute because they were just clear. And even though they're made by... Hello. Hello. Um, But I just love this... Um, Oh my God, you are tell you might girl, you preaching to the but these um clear fashion nova shoes that I, I really do love because they go with everything. Um, and then we have two more pair, y'all, and then we are done. Three more pair. Y'all, this is unbelievable. The next shoe, and y'all, I done ran these to the ground in every video. Every video, I feel like every dress up video, I, I have these shoes on. But I love these shoes. These are a pair of Coach pumps. Um, and I just love the color. And look at this. They're starting to peel. I'm going to have to fix that. That piece right there is starting to peel. But um, I love these. This It's like a green yellow. I just love them. And yeah and i thrifted these i i can't remember i think the price were off but they are super super beautiful and i'm so happy to have these in my collection the next pair are super conservative and these are truly work shoes because you know when a job get on your nerve you gotta go on an interview baby these are my interview shoes these are nine west um these are my nine west little work shoes that i thrifted um and i love the detail in there and if you guys don't know i am a legal assistant so these are very legal assistant shoes <laughs> um and yeah like i said nine west and they are super cute and they look really nice when you wear skirt suits and you know black dresses black dress suits they look really super super nice um, and then I have this, I don't know if you guys know, but ballerinas was really in like this year, last year. So ballerinas and I thrifted these ballerina, um, flats. Um, and believe it or not, I, the reason I got these is because I like something about the front of these. They look super like expensive with the way they are in the front they're not just a regular round toe um ballerinas they're kind of square and i thought they were super super cute and they were almost practically brand new and believe it or not they're made by a new day which i was pleasantly surprised so a new day i found them that's a target brand i think right um i realized that they 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 be having some cute stuff like i don't see it in target but Maybe online or something, but I really like these um, flats just for, yeah. And actually, the squ the square toe on the bottom of the flat, yeah, the square looks more chic or something. Girl, they're solo. Solo, say hi. 
Say hi. Say hi, buddy. Look, say hi. Y'all look at so-so. And remember I was telling y'all about the Katy Pan flats? Um, the Katy Pan, the one she um she redo all the like Chanel shoes, but she'll charge you like a fraction of the cost. But she don't put the Chanel name or logo, she just replicates the style. But these are the shoes that I was uh speaking about when I was talking about the Ivanka Trump. Um so look, everybody say hi. These are the Katy Pan shoes. She do a really good job. Her leather is amazing. I did not thrift these. I actually paid for these. They were about $200, but I just wanted to show you guys um, what she was doing. And then I have one more pair. And they and I, I'm gonna, I ran these to the absolute ground. They were thrifted, but don't come for me. They are these Burberry like flats. And let, let me tell you, I thrifted these. I don't even think the thrift store. They were like $7. And they are Burberry. And I and they are so cute. And I wore them like ballerina shoes. I wear these actually all the time. These are my go-to, just like kick-ons, go walking the dog. I love these shoes. Um, and you can see they are Burberry, quiet luxury. But I probably would throw, but look, I didn't tore the size off, y'all. I wonder if I can get that fixed. Because I love, because this is like a satin on top. It's like a satin. But I wonder if I can get that fixed. Because if I did, I mean, it says it got Burberry on the little tassel in the back. And you can, like, pull this to tighten the shoe around your um, ankle. Like, these are so cute. Look at that. Like, you could tighten the shoe around your ankle. They just don't make stuff like this anymore. All this, everything now that's so gaudy and big and goofy looking. And I ain't got time for that. And while I have y'all on this live, let me just show y'all my very, very first pair of designer shoes that I ever gotten in my life. Like the very first pair when I was 17, I think. My ex little boyfriend I had, he brought me these shoes and I still have a, the original box and everything. But let me just show you these. Now, these are my very first pair of Gucci loafers. Y'all look at these shoes. Look at the heel on the bottom. Yes, you got to watch part two, sis. But these are my OG, OG. This was started it all. My very first pair of Gucci loafers. And y'all, look at the heel. I done, I done walked a mile, girl. Talk. Th these shoes look like what I've been through. <laughs> these look like, this is my life in the shoe. This is my freaking life. Y'all, I'm, I'm going to hang these in my car from the, uh, I'm going to hang these up from the rearview mirror. You know how they hang the baby shoes up? These shoes are humbling. These shoes are humbling. My life. You want to walk in my shoes? Oh, I still got my original Gucci shoes. They are 23 years old. My original Gucci sneakers. 20 something years old. And I still got them and they still look brand new. But these right here, this is what I've been through. This is walking the walking. 51 years in my life in a shoe. <laughs> but yes, y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Can y'all please just hit the like for me before you leave up out of here? Just so I know y'all showing me some love. I really had so much fun with this shoe haul. And I promise you the boot haul will not be this long. It's not going to be 49 minutes because I don't have as many boots, thrifted boots, as I have shoes. But I just want to thank you guys for coming in here with me. And y'all got through. Y'all got through this live. Y'all got through the shoes. It took three freaking days. Three days for y'all to get to. Did I just smack my? Okay, that was ghetto. That was bougetto. Thank you, Fab. I like hanging out with you, too. Y'all know I'm a... Uh, 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 uh. 
Oh, African Export, welcome to my channel, sis. Welcome. We gonna have fun over here. Cause y'all know I'll play my song. I'm the shady thrifter, baby. With the style of my own. No one can clone. I'll never clone. I'll never clone. I'm the shady thrifter, baby. With the style of my own. No one can clone. I'll never clone. I'll never clone. Yes! Y'all, please help me get to my 3,000 subscribers by the 31st of March. Please. I need y'all help. Girl, listen. Wait a minute. Don't make me play my song. Don't make me play my song. Wait a minute, because they can't copyright me if I play the song. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Let me, let me just, let me just, let me just, uh, let me just play my song real quick. Because... Oh, no, don't be leaving out now. I see I had 13 people on this live. Now there's only 11. What? What? Let me find out y'all hating. Mm-mm. Y'all ain't trying to hear my song. Y'all some haters. Y'all, I let my cousin hear. He was like, um, oh, I see what you doing, cuz. I see what you doing. You doing a little something. So he got a recording studio. So he was telling me that he gonna take me in the recording studio so I can really zhuzh it up. So... Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted, sis. Your girl got some, she got some beats. Mm -mm. Where is my song? Let me find it. Oh, here we go. <laughs> this is mine. Hey! I gotta learn the words of my own song. Baby, I'm the shady thrift. So deep for vintage treasures. Can't copy my style. One of a kind in the world of thrifting. This is mine. So to the streets. It's my very own. I'll never clone. I'll never clone. Period. Hey, 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 ha. Oh, they gonna copyright me, girl. Girl? Hey, bam. Uh, 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 uh. YouTube, no, they wrong. They need to let us use, like, yes, we need an after party, y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna get me. A, I'm gonna get my cousin to make me a mix, and we're gonna come on live on Saturday evenings, and we're gonna party our asses off. I ain't gonna be replicated or duplicated, baby. They can say what they want about me. I'm not articulate. I'm get so. I'm all this stuff. But at the end of the day, baby, <laughs> bitch, I'm myself. I ain't out here trying to be nobody else. Okay. Okay, because baby, one thing about me, I can sit in all rooms. I know how to switch it up, but I'm not about to come up on here putting on no app because one thing about an app, you got to learn how to keep it up. And I ain't good with lying. I ain't good with faking. I can't do it. I got to be me. 2024, 2024 has been my coming out. I'm coming out. <laughs> I got the world to know. I have to let it show. Hey, hey, hey. I'm coming out. Uh, uh. You either love it or hate it. Bitch, I don't give, give a shit. Hey. And I just want to live. I just want to live. You know what? I've been through so much shit, y'all.
I've been through so much shit. Ain't nothing gonna hold me back. You two, y'all are my peace. Y'all are my peace. I'm an empty nester. I raised three beautiful kids. Partially raised a, a grandbaby. Got a that damn dog now I'm raising. Kicked them to the curve. Ain't nobody getting on my nerves. I'm going to live for me. I'm half of a hundred. Okay? I'm half of a hundred. I'm not living for nobody but... Mm -hmm. And I'm so glad to have y'all on my live. Avis, you said I got you cracking up. Y'all, one of my friends, remember I told you about my girlfriend who got her YouTube channel? <laughs> she just texted me on my live talking about, girl, you got me dying laughing. <laughs> I'm going to show y'all the shirt I started to wear today. Let me show y'all this shirt I started to wear because I was going to be a pick Mika today. Y'all know my name is Mika. So I was, I said, I'm going to really mess them up with this shoe hole. But I, I was going to wait. I was like, you know what? I'm going to wear this shirt today to kick it off. Kick the shit off. We gonna, I'm going to start it up. I said, I'm going to start it up. I'm going to get something to talk about. Hold on. Let me show y'all what I was going to wear today. I'm going to show y'all what I was going to wear on this live today. Because if I really want to get the numbers up... <laughs> I bring Kevin Samuels back from the motherfucking dead. I was going to wear this today, y'all, for my live. <laughs> That's when I was... I, I was getting thirsty. Girl, this ain't number some goddamn ginger ale. Because it ain't. if it ain't cost some Migos, I don't want it. This ginger ale. I love me some cost, cost some Migos, but my, my kidneys don't. Black men don't cheat. If I really wanted to get the numbers up, black men don't cheat. But I said, you know what? I'm going to play fair and square. I'm going to play fair and square. I'm not going to wear this today. I'm going to let Kevin Samuels rest in peace, motherfucker. Uh, I'm going to let him rest in peace. But yes, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to let him rest in peace because I'm going to get my numbers up naturally. I don't got to cut corners. I'm not going to cut corners. I'm not going to cheat. I'm going to support everybody who I love. Period. All right. So we got through part one. We got through part two. We got through part three. When should I do part four, y'all? Should I do it tomorrow? Just get the shit out the way so we can get back to the regular scheduled programming. Or should I do it on, should I do it on, um, maybe I'll do it on Wednesday evening. That's what I'll do. But anyway, y'all, I got to get ready, lay my ass down and look at TV. And I want to go catch up on Fab Chick Modest YouTube channel because I've been loving her YouTube. Y'all head over to her page and look at her channel so we can help her get her numbers up. We all... And this together. So until next time, y'all. I love all of y'all. Thank y'all so much for coming on my live tonight. I'm having so much fun with y'all. And until we see each other again, we'll be about to say, bye.